Hello everyone, welcome to today's YouTube video. You might notice the desktop and the taskbar have changed drastically. There are some new apps on here, but recently I factory resetted it so that it wouldn't have so much stuff on it. I don't know if you saw the last time I opened the, this PC and it was in the red now, it's in the blue now. And somehow, I, I did format my USB, it still works. So that's one thing. Alright, now let's get into this. So first, you're going to download the VirtualBox setup. Click on your operating system. I have Windows. So I'm going to click on that. She's having a good breakfast, she's telling me. I'm just going to delete that and make large icons. What is this? I don't need that. Alright, so we're going to open this. Alright. Uh, if it asks to make changes, click on yes. Then it will take you to the setup. Click on next. Choose the features you want and you don't want by clicking on the on the on the drop down arrow, entire will will be installed on local hard drive or entire feature will be installed on local hard drive or entire feature will be unavailable. Once you've done all that, click next. If there are warnings, click on yes. Then press install. Okay, so now let's start it after finishing. And here it is. We have VirtualBox installed now. So you can close that and close this. Now we're going to download MS DOS 3.30. The thing I don't like about WinWorld PC is the download count. So choose the server closest to you. This is the closest. What? Then we'll download the file as a 7-zip file. And then once you've downloaded those two files, then you're good to go. I'm just going to put that into place. So now we're going to install oh, well now you're going to make sure that you have installed 7-zip now so we can extract these alright so let's let's take this let's make a folder and name it 1.0 yeah, 10.0. It's not Windows 10. Okay, delete that. I'm gonna drag those in here. And then, I'm going to extract these now. Yeah. If you're on Windows 10, oh, you're gonna. First, I'm gonna show you what to do if you're on you Windows 11. Uh, you're going to right click. Show more options, and then you'll see 7-zip up here. Now this is the menu that will just appear in Windows 10, so just right-click, then go to 7-zip, extract files. It's been extracted, so we can delete it. Now we're going to extract Windows 1.0. Now that you've extracted all those, you can delete it now. 
And then you'll have your files here. This is what the MS DOS will include. It will include the two disks. And then this will include five disks. Huh? Yeah. Now we're ready to go. Now we're going to VirtualBox, New, Windows 1.0. Now there is no Windows 1.0 in here, but make sure, just select Windows 3.1. That will work. Or you can select in here. other and DOS that also works but I just do Windows 3.1 and then next choose the RAM next hard disk next finish then we click start Actually, I'm going to check something first before I, <clears throat> before I start using it. So, the video memory, you're going to want to turn that all the way up. It'll help with stuff. It won't really help with the kind of stuff that I'm thinking of. I don't know what exactly it helps with, but just set that and click start. Then, when this pops up, <clears throat> don't select other, because that will look for an ISO file. We don't want ISO file. So you're going to close that, go to the floppy, right click, choose a disk file. Then, <clears throat> go where you saved it, just right here, then hit right control R. And then when it says to well, set a date, just go enter, and then no, a new and time, then, enter. No. From here, we're going to type F disk. This menu will appear. Just keep it at 1, then 1, Y. Then make sure that MS DOS disk one is in is in the floppy drive. It is. I'm just gonna press any key, and then we're going to type format C colon then Y. And then S Y S C colon backslash. As you can see, system transferred. Now we're going to now we're going to do copy a colon backslash C colon backslash thirty four files. Now we're going to insert the second MS DOS disk. And by the way, if you click left click in here with your mouse, it won't come back out. So just click right control to bring your mouse back. I'm gonna keep it in there. So we're gonna type the same thing again. Okay, that was strange. <laughs> Just press enter for me. Wait, no, I'll, I'll put my hand on enter. Alright, copy a colon backslash c colon backslash 
15 files copied. Wait, backup.com. I don't know what a com file is, but it's reminding me of a website. Once you've done that, insert the Windows 1.0 disk. And then type setup. Press C, leave it at the Windows directory, C to continue. Now, the pointing device doesn't work. So that's like the main problem with this is that it doesn't work at all. So just, I just leave it at one for no pointing device. And then for the, for the color, select six for the best color. And C. No oh, wait. Well, we have to insert the second disc now. So do that. C. Then the utilities disc. Do you want to set up a printer? I don't want to set up a printer. Now we need the desktop applications disk. And then we need the write program disk, which should be the last. Yeah, it's the last. There we go. Microsoft Windows is set up to operate on your computer. So now we're going to eject the disk. And control R to restart. And if you if you keep it inserted, then this is what it'll do. It'll, it'll say non-system disk or disk error. But if you want to keep the disk inserted, press F12 here, and then press on one to boot to the hard drive, then enter enter, chdir, c home backslash windows, and then win. And here you are. And then here is windows. It's right here. That was a big steak. The Windows is right here and it's working properly. As you can see, so now, so if you ever like want to restart it, just select. Oh my goodness, the background sounds are annoying me this time. We're gonna <laughs> so you're gonna need to restart every time you wanna do it, but if you just type this directly, then it won't work. You have to type this first, and then this. Alright, so see you guys in another video.